I think I was about 15 years old or something when I read Look Onward Angel by, by Thomas Wolfe. And I think that's when I seriously decided that's what I wanted to be because I'd never read, I'd never read anybody like Wolfe and the way he used, the way he used language. I thought, I always loved to read and I thought if it was fun to read, it would be, it would be even more fun to write. And I, I, I did it for a lot of years, sending stories out, but I don't think I, I don't think I was really as committed to it as I got later. And how long, how old were you when the publishing started to happen? I was, um, I think 55 or so, something like that. But um, that's sort of deceptive because it sounds like I was doing that all the time. But I was, uh, I had gotten married and, and we started having kids and I had to make a living, so I was, I, w I was trying to make a living and I was writing on the side, so I wasn't, that's what I said earlier about being totally committed to it, I don't think. I think you have to be totally committed to something like that before, before it ever amounts to anything. And uh, after, uh, after I got divorced and my kids, my kids were pretty well grown, I think then I really got serious about it, and I, I think I worked harder at it. Looking back on it, it seems sort of arrogant, you know, to think that I could that I could actually publish books, you know, the way Wolf or Faulkner or somebody like that had done. But um, I, I think I maybe always thought, even when I was getting rejected even when I was sending stuff out and it was coming back I think I, I still believed that I had something to say if I could ever if I could figure out a way to a way to say it